now a plan to beam electricity, electricity wirelessly from space to power millions of homes could be edging a step closer. The European Space Agency is to consider funding a three-year study called Solaris to see if having huge solar farms in space could work and be cost-effective. Our science correspondent Paolo Ghosh sent this report from Munich. It looks like science fiction. Imagine robots building vast solar arrays to capture the sun's power. Its energy converted into microwaves and beamed to Earth, then collected by antennas over a huge area and turned into electricity. It's not science fiction, that it's not just something on paper or in the lab, that it's ready to be deployed at a small scale. And of course the challenge with applying this to space-based solar power is extending that scale and that power by a dramatic amount. And that will take some time, it's a huge challenge of course. It's a challenge these scientists are taking up here in Munich. In an experiment at the aerospace firm Airbus, two kilowatts of power were collected from solar panels and sent wirelessly from this transmitter to a receiver at the other end of the room. And that electricity lights up a model city. There's a long way to go from this small demonstration here to sending back solar energy from space. A million times more power needs to be transmitted and it's got to be sent a million times further. But the engineers here think it could be done. If the energy satellite concept were successfully developed, they would collect solar energy 24 hours a day. Scientists have wanted to do this for decades because unlike solar energy on the ground, which is interrupted by night time and clouds, it generates power around the clock. Ignition. Lift off. It's only now it might become cost effective because rockets can be used over and over again. If you could do it from space, and I'm saying if you could because we are not yet there, uh, then this would be absolutely fantastic. Solar based uh, uh, power from space could really help enormously to address our energy shortages and our energy problem, which, which is about to come uh, in, in the next decades. The US, China and the UK have their own research programs. As energy prices soar and the destructive impacts of climate change are being felt, the pressure for the entire world to develop a new, reliable source of clean energy is greater than ever. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, Munich.